All right, good morning, y'all. It is time to make some simple breakfast dishes. So this is gonna be the first video of my baking series. I'm gonna be making cream biscuits for you today. And I love this recipe. This is a great biscuit recipe if you love biscuits and gravy. Maybe you like a fresh baked biscuit with strawberry jam. Maybe put some clotted cream on top. It's a great way to show appreciation and love, I think, to your, your, your wife, your husband, girlfriend, boyfriend, things of like, like that, like that sort. Um, but yeah, this is a very simple recipe. It's great in the morning, right? Getting fresh biscuits out the oven. And yeah, I'm just gonna jump into it. So here we have our ingredients. I have a cup of flour, basic um, unbleached all-purpose flour. I have some whipped cream, heavy whipping cream, three quarters cup. I have baking powder. Um, I'm forgetting the exact measurements. I'll put these in the uh, description though. I believe it's three quarters tablespoon of baking powder. Um, I have some sugar, about half a tablespoon, and then half a teaspoon of all-purpose salt. Very simple, simple, uh, simple recipe, pretty forgiving. I've already gone ahead and kind of incorporated the leaveners, the baking powder, salt and sugar here. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw in the flour. This is a pretty forgiving recipe. One, one good thing about cream biscuits, as opposed to buttermilk biscuits, is that you don't have to worry about um, incorporating like little pea-sized bits of butter into the flour, which can be a little bit tricky. You can overwork things, or if, you, if, you're, if you're not careful with buttermilk biscuits, they can flop easily, just because of that step where you have to put in the butter. This is pretty for beginning because you just have to pour in the cream. You kind of get a shaggy dough, and then, yeah, it's pretty, pretty forgiving. So I'm just sifting the dry ingredients right now, making sure the baking powder, salt, sugar, and uh, yeah, and the flour are well incorporated. Just want to make sure everything is well mixed. That should be good. So let's go ahead and slowly add the cream. Now I'm probably going to get a spoon for this just to make sure things will be good here. Yeah, so the thing about these biscuits, about biscuit doughs, is you don't want to overwork things. You kind of want a shaggy dough, but you don't want to overwork the biscuits. I'm just slowly adding the cream. As you can see, it's becoming a little bit shaggy now. Okay, incorporate that. Yeah, you want a nice shaggy dough. You don't want it to be any clumps of flour, but you don't want it to be like, you're not looking for a smooth dough, like um, maybe some other bread doughs. Because this doesn't have any yeast. It's all chem chemical leaveners, meaning you have baking powder is kind of what's making the biscuits rise. And so, yeah, it looks like we're gonna work this a little bit. So basically things are incorporated now. I'm going to put a little flour in my hands just so it's easier to work with. Just dust my hands with a little flour. You don't have to, don't add too much to your hands to work the dough. Yeah, I just want to get a little bit on my hands so it's a little bit easier to work with. So maybe just count maybe a few turns. Just make sure there's no uh, any leftover bits. So let's go one, two, three, four, five. So that's that's pretty much good. You don't want to work this too much. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of flatten this out and then cut it into pieces. So I am not feeling super 
dogmatic about the aesthetics. So we're gonna kind of flatten this out to about half an inch thickness. Yeah, that should be fine. I have my little dough cutter. I'm gonna cut these into fours. And I'm not, I'm definitely not being precise here, folks. This is definitely kind of um, one of those things where biscuits aren't meant to be perfect little round. I mean, you can make them perfect little round things, but you definitely don't have to. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of shape these a little more into rounds, closer to rounds at least. And yeah, that's about it. That's all she wrote. We're gonna put these in the oven at 400 for about 12 to 15 minutes. And then yeah, we'll go ahead and check up on them. All right, we're gonna put these guys in the oven and we'll check on these in 12 to 15 minutes. All right, y'all, here's the finished product of the cream biscuits. I legit forgot to take <laughs> some footage of me pulling these guys out of the oven. But yeah, they're really nice. I'd highly encourage uh, making these at home. They're very easy to make. Great weekend breakfast meal. And yeah, if you like this recipe, like, comment, and subscribe for more.